keeping our distance to sanitising our hands. COVID-19 has transformed the way we all shop. Now the latest measure is to become law. Anyone not wearing a face mask in a shop in England from next Friday could be fined £100. Will you be happy to wear one? I, I've got mixed feelings, to be honest with you. I, like I said, I'm not sure of the effectiveness. I wonder whether it increases people's anxiety and fear rather than reducing it, actually. When I leave the house, it's just got into my practice now to grab a mask. We've been open the whole time at, at the bank and uh, customers coming in a lot, not wearing anything, you know, it puts us at risk. Obviously, you're protecting yourself and you're protecting others in case I don't know if I've got it. I, I hope not, but I could be a carrier, couldn't I? At the key cutters in Bedminster in Bristol, face masks pose yet another challenge. With three, four months not opening, I need the, I need the trade. I will again try to implement it where I can regards the mask, but I've also got a balancing act with regards livelihood. It's not going to be down to shop owners to make sure that their customers are wearing masks. It'll be up to the police to enforce the new rule. But some say that responsibility is unrealistic and unfair. Like all lockdown measures, police will be relying on the public to comply. I think stores need to play their part, that if you don't have a face covering, you don't go in the store because that's not complying with the law. And in those extreme situations where we have to be called, then we will attend and we will deal with what we have. The new rule will bring England in line with Scotland and other countries like Germany, Spain and Italy. We're in a completely different part of the epidemic now, where there's relatively little virus around, but what virus is around we can't see. And wearing masks is all about protecting other people. COVID-19 has hit the high street hard. The government hopes masks will give more people the confidence to return and keep shops alive. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Bristol.